welcome to another episode of Mugshots with Attorney Mag. Good day mga kamagshots! Today, I'm going to assist a foreign client who will work here in the Philippines. At syempre, bago siya makapag-work, kailangan niya muna ako. IST work permit pala. He is no other than the New York model and fitness coach, Walter Derrick. Kaya nagpunta kami sa Bureau of Immigration para mag-apply ng work permit. Sir Grifton, ano nga po ba ang pagkakaiba ng working visa at working permit? Certain events lang or a certain project that entails uh, less than six months working permit lang. Anything to do with uh, six months, one year, or even more, let's say, ang magiging kontrata niya, kailangan mag-apply na sila ng working visa. Mm -hmm. O ito tinatawag natin 9G. 9G? Ano yun? Kasamahan ba yung Sir Grifto ng 3G at 4G? Joke lang! Alam nyo ba kung bakit 9G ang tawag namin doon? Yeah, po tinawag na 9G kasi sa Philippine Immigration Act sa ano siya, uh, section 9, sa paragraph G. Kaya 9G. Kailan nga ba dapat mag-apply ng work permit ang isang foreigner? First, pwede i-apply before siya dumating. Okay. Na uh, kanyang corporation o yung kanyang producer na mag-sponsor sa kanya. Mm. Pwede naman din na dumating siya nang wala pang working permit. Pero dalawang aspeto yan. Um, ito yung tinatawag natin yung mga nationalities na merong non-visa required okay. at yung visa required. For example, a nationality na hindi namin re-require ng visa or non-visa required. Americans, Canadians. So pag dumating sila, automatic bibigyan sila na 30-day stay. So, during his or her 30-day stay, pwede siyang mag-apply ng special working permit. At ano naman ang procedure at mga requirements para makakuha siya ng work permit? Letter request yung ating sponsor or yung producer sa ating uh, puting commissioner. And then, kailangan meron tayong tinatawag na application form, yung copy ng passport niya. And last but not the least, yung clearance certificate ng PIA. Okay. At dahil na-comply namin lahat ng requirements, Charan! May work permit na si Walter! At dahil may work permit na si Walter, he's now then allowed to work in the Philippines. But everything has an end. And bukas, Walter has to fly for New York now. At bago siya umalis, I invited him for lunch at Mesa. So far, how was your stay in the Philippines? It's been incredible. Uh, for my first time out here, uh, everybody's been super hospitable. Everything I've done has been a lot of fun, and uh, I've really enjoyed my stay so far. So Walter, I also heard that you joined the Ironman in Cebu. How was your experience in Ironman? It was an incredible experience. Um, it was my first Ironman, so you know, not only did I not really know what I was getting myself into, mm -hmm. I flew around the world to do it. Yes. Um, you know, but did you adjust to the climate? Because I think in the U in New York, yeah, it's different we uh, we don't have heat and humidity like you guys do. Um, luckily, it's not the hottest time of the year for you yeah. guys, um, but it definitely is the hottest time of my life. <laughs> Ang hot nga. Yes. Right in the Philippines. Um. So how was it working to Filipinos, Walter? Coming into it out here, I was actually pleasantly surprised yeah. that. What know, surprised you, Walter? Um, I think the, the energy on set, you know, people mm -hmm. for the most part are generally super happy out here yes. and uh, very hospitable, you know, really easy to work with. The Filipinos are working, but they are still happy working. Yeah, here. you know, it, especially coming from a place like New York where everybody's on a crunch and a deadline yes. and, you know, they wear their stress and their emotion and on their face out here, it's quite the opposite. It's Do you know there. already a Tagalog word? Yes. Um, so what's your first Tagalog word? Wow. Guapo. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was uh, it was the first word that I learned, and I so who taught you that? Huh? A lot of girls in the Philippines. Um, the first person that taught that to me was a good friend of mine, Larry, who I met out here, who's been a huge influence. Direct Larry. Yes. yes. Uh, he's been a huge influence on the work that I've done out here, 
and uh, he's been a great partner. Actually, it's really sad to say that you will be leaving tomorrow. Yeah. Right, Walter? And, but I'm happy that I will be your last. Last ano, attorney. Uh, interview. Uh, <laughs> so, let's friend. save the best for last. So we started together, <laughs> we're ending together. So, is it your first time to be interviewed by the lawyer? Yes. Really? I am shooketh. What the f so, what are your other encounters with the lawyer so far? Uh, well, back in New York, I work with uh, restaurants and nightclubs. Okay. So, you know, especially in New York, somebody's always doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. So, I've worked with lawyers on various cases, uh, mainly just getting our side of the story versus, you know, the... Their no romantic relationships yet with lawyers? No romantic relationships. No dates with lawyers? No, but you have ah. a shot. I think you should, uh, you, you should, so you will be missing 90% of your life if you don't <laughs> date any lawyer. <gasps> it's a fail! Mission abort! Mission abort! So we are now, Walter, in our segment, the segment of Magshots with Attorney Maggie, which we call Magkakilan Lang. So in this segment, there are several mugs here, and in each mug, there will be different sets of questions. Okay. So you will choose a mug, and then the question that inside the mug will be the one that I will ask you. Okay, you choose your mug, Walter. All right, I think we'll start with this one here. So Walter chose this mug. So tough times do not last. Tough people do. It's interesting, Walter. So why did you choose this mug? Uh, you know, coming off the Iron Man in Cebu, um, it definitely, you know, it says a lot about who I am and what I do. Um, Obviously, the Iron Man was the toughest thing I've ever done, and the pain that I felt competing in that race, I can't compare to anything I've done in my life. But as soon as I crossed that finish line, and all the pain went away. You kind of you feel that sense of accomplishment, yes. and you know it doesn't matter how much pain I was in, but what I accomplished through it. Wow. So Walter is really an Iron Man and a tough guy. So this mug really fits you. But let's see if the questions would still fit oh, you. Oh boy. Let's okay. See what we got here. So time to pick your question, Walter. What's the question? Run, bike, or swim. Okay. So that is actually related to your iron. Yeah. So if you're gonna choose which one is your most favorite to do, to run, to bike, or to swim? Well, I'd have to say if all the swims are as beautiful as Cebu, swimming would definitely be the first one. <laughs> okay, your next all question, right, Walter. next question. Love life or career? Oh, we're getting real personal oh, now. Love life or career, ladies and gentlemen. I want to know that. Yeah, yeah, If yeah. we're just going to choose. If There's love a lot of girls that do want to know that. <laughs> I want to know. As important as a love life is, um, and I do apparently have one, I think uh, my career is definitely you know, slightly more important. For the meantime. Yeah, you know, it, it's important to set up a stable lifestyle where, you know, you can bring somebody else into it and, you know, your career doesn't become a hindrance on your love life. Um, it's That's definitely an important part for me. Oh, so for the meantime, Walter would want to still stick with his career first. Mugshot or body shot? If we're not talking about the, the actual term of mugshot, you know, mm. with, with some bracelets on, um, I definitely, uh, I think beauty shots, headshots are, uh, they tell a better story than a body shot. Mm. Um, you know, anybody can go to a gym and mold their version of a perfect physique, but when you can capture uh, a really great beauty shot, you know, there's, yeah. there's more of a story behind that, you know, when you look at somebody's eyes in the picture and, you know, what story that tells. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> so we have now another segment here in Magshots with Attorney Maggie. We call it Magdi Kiman. <gasps> Nang ano? Nang food. Ah. Uh... Hey, Attorney. Parang ang sharp naman yan. Okay, so Walter, have a taste of the appetizer. It's called a tinaparo. tinaparo. Okay, I want to join you also. Magtikli man tayo. Nang food. <laughs> then what's in the sauce here? Yes, that's uh, vinegar. Spicy vinegar. Spicy vinegar. Alright. Not too spicy, spicy, right? Yeah. 
I don't want to be crying. I don't want to be crying here on camera. Let's <laughs> try. This is not too spicy. Hindi nga attorney. Hot lang. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Especially coming from America, you know we like fried foods, so it tastes a little bit like home, but a lot yeah. fresher. Very good, very good. The fish is really awesome. So there's cheese. Is that cheese? Yes, yeah. no, ma'am. Uh, salted egg. Salted egg. And then tinapa. Then tinapa. Then tinapa. Ah, okay. Tinapa is like smoked fish. Smoked fish. Smoke fish. Okay. So that's for appetizer. So what's next, next Mama Rona? Uh, and sit kind of pancit. So we, you have tasted pancit before, right? I've got right? a little bit of experience with this. Because I, you told me that you have a Filipino friend. Yes. So I've been to some uh, holiday holidays at his family's house and mm -hmm. they've cooked this for me. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine it's going to taste a little fresher, a little better out here. Yes, let's try it. You know, in the Philippines, uh, whenever there are birthdays, we usually have pancit or noodle okay. or spaghetti because that uh, symbolizes uh, long life. Uh, yeah, so it's a usual food here in the Philippines. You okay with pork water? I am. Okay. Who doesn't like bacon? <laughs> Who doesn't like bacon? That's much better than... So the noodle that you used here is meaty or canton? Canton. 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 Because in the Philippines, we also have different noodles for pancit. Okay. We have bihon, we have uh, canton, sotanghon. The one that I had uh, back in the States is uh, a little bit more glassy looking, like almost see-through. Okay. So what are the vegetables here? Si Aternio, halatang hindi nagluluto. No, we usually also put uh, calamansi. We call it calamansi, this one. Here. Oh, the baby lion? Yes. In the Philippines, we call it calamansi. Calamansi? Yes. To put a little bit of a taste of sour. Okay. In the pansi. So is it your first time to eat pansi with that kind of noodle? That kind of noodle? Yeah. And uh, with pork. Ah, oh, with pork? Because you used to... I've had it with beef. Pansi with beef. Yeah. I haven't tasted the pansi with beef. Okay. So what's next? What we got next? Product? Next is the baby squid. Baby in squid. Oil. This might be so a first for me. Your first, <laughs> that will be your first of these baby squid. There's no baby squid in the US. Um, I mean, I'm sure we have it. Um, I just haven't had it like this or prepared this one. Ah, okay. So, look what kind of oil for? Olive oil. Oh, that's olive oil. Yeah. That's all of these. Favorite. That's really good. Mm. This I one can see why. Yeah. Very good. This is my favorite here. The biggest yeah. favorite. But it's also appetizer or amis. I mean, of course. But I, I usually eat it as an appetizer. <laughs> With the uh, pinaparol. You know, looking at it and hearing baby squid, I kind of had my reservations. Like, all right, I got to try it. But I, I can eat the whole dish. Wow, good. Yeah, because it's your first time to eat baby yeah. squid now. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, the next, next one is the our newest soup. Ah, soup. Okay. So the miswa. Miswa. We call it. We call it. Miswa is also called almond de gras. Yes. Because of the liquor. Ah, uh, because of. Ah, you, uh, you call it almond de gras because of the liquor. Yes, with that. Because we add more in the sana, meatballs with uh, small, small meatballs. Looks mm. good. So this is, uh, there is a noodle also, that is what you call this one. Okay. It's a, uh, ano mam to? Chinese, ano ba? Yes, yeah. Chinese. Chinese noodle, yung this one. And then they add meatballs. Is this purple or? Uh, purple. Let's give him the noodle also. I want yeah. to try the noodle. I like, I like my soup and noodles. <laughs> Manager, you can't wait. You can't wait for the attorney. Back in New York, do you eat also noodles? 
Yeah. Um, it's carbs. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, especially as an endurance athlete, uh, I don't have to stay away from carbs too much. Yeah, because you're also burning it because yeah. you go to the gym a lot. Mm -hmm. My training uh, allows me to have a very healthy eating yes. lifestyle. And you also need energy, so you have a little bit also of carbs, yeah. no? But for me, I need protein. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, How's the water? How's the taste? The meatball is awesome. Mm -hmm. So, the meatball is the best. And also the also yes. the I would have to say that's probably my first time having a uh, pork meatball. Uh, uh, why? Um, it's just in the States we use uh, ground beef, pork chicken. Mm -hmm. Uh, turkey meatballs. Mm -hmm. turkey meatballs are uh, super popular uh, seller in my meal prep company, so I'm very used to that. Mm -hmm. But this is a really good change. Yes. Okay, well, turn this up at least. This is a, uh, how do you call it? Platter? Any house sampler. Any house sampler. Oh, baby. Oh. Which All one right. do you want to taste first? Um, well, you know, we got a lot of chicken and uh, beef protein in the state, so let's dive into some local fish. Fish. Yeah. This one, milk fish. Okay. We yeah. call it bamus in Filipino. Is it milk fish? It's a milk fish. Okay. We're looking out for bones in here or boneless? It's boneless. Boneless, boneless. 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 oh baby. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I like them. Spilled milk fish. What? Smoke? Yeah, I'm very good. Very fresh tasting. What sauce do you use here? Uh, we call it uh, sweet, sweet glaze soya. Sweet glaze sauce. When you taste the food in Filipino and it's delicious, you call it mm, masarap. <laughs> Everything so far is very masarap. Masarap, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Okay, what's the last one? I heard we got some dessert. Yes. Mm. Yeah. This is called our the crispy leche flan. Leche flan. Right. So it's like a version of a creme brulee, but this one they fry it. Yes. I love my fried food. Okay, me. Come in, mona din kasi. I'd be questioning why I eat snacks like this. Mm -hmm. So the sauce is also. Are we gonna eat curry leaf? Curry leaf bites. Sugar. Sugar. You're gonna have to help me or else I'm gonna eat this entire thing. Mmm, delicious. Tara pa. How do I like it, Walter? Masarap. Masarap, wow. <laughs> so you don't know a lot of Filipino words, huh? Aside from guapo. Mm -hmm. So he knows guapo and then masarap. Wow. What Filipino words? <laughs> masarap and guapo. Masarap na guapo. <laughs> okay. So yes. I think that's it? Yes. It was really incredible. Okay, so Walter, you have tasted the best uh, sellers of a mesa. So what can you say about the food? Everything was uh, really messed up. Mm -hmm. uh, I really enjoyed the, the freshness of the food out here wow. versus the States. Mm -hmm. um, the egg rolls were really great. The spicy vinegar was a great touch uh, as far as the sauce goes. For the for the tinapa roll? Yeah. Um, I think you like the tinapa roll because you consume too. <laughs> uh -huh. that, that was really good. Um, mm -hmm. But I would have to say, you know, everything was super awesome. But my favorite was definitely the baby squid. Yeah. Uh, coming into it, like I said, I wasn't too sure about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was fantastic. And it's your first time to taste baby yeah. squid, right? Yeah. Uh, hopefully not my last. Of course, you should always go back here in the Philippines yeah. and you should go back to Mesa because mm -hmm. this is the best Filipino restaurant here in the Philippines. What about the soup? The soup was great. Um, obviously, I'm a big ramen lover. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, Upido down the block was uh, one of my spots throughout mm -hmm. my trip, but uh, now that I know that's here, the, the pork meatballs were super awesome. So, uh, Upido's kind of beat. That's my new spot. 
Okay, so uh, thank you very much, Mom. Thank you very much, Walter. Thank you. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching this episode of Mugshots with Attorney Maggie. I would like to thank personally also, and on behalf of Mugshots with Attorney Maggie, Mesa, for sponsoring our episode today. So don't forget to subscribe. How's it going? I'm Walter Derrick, and if you enjoyed today's show, don't forget to click that subscribe button and keep an eye out for more Mugshots with Attorney Maggie.